Are you just a petulant diva who wants things her own way, and if you don't get things your own way, you feel you have the right to throw things? You went from the sweetest woman that was giving me vitamins to someone that terrified me on that trip. You said, you'll never be me, don't ever think that you'll be me. I've never said that in my life. There are some specific things that I remember as if it was yesterday that hurt me and hurt me to my core. Naomi Campbell is the original mean girl of the fashion industry. She has bullied models like Tyra Banks into quitting modeling. Naomi has also gotten physical with her own employees and anyone else who gets in her way. She also has some bizarre connections to foreign officials and big time criminals like Jeffrey Epstein. So let's get into it. As you guys know, we uncover controversial stories on this channel, and it's important for me to get the whole story when I do my research. So Atlas VPN is crucial for me to stay protected and to access restricted content. You guys need to invest in a virtual private network because it can stop ads, it can stop malware, it can tell you whether someone is stealing your data, it can block malicious links and trackers. You can also protect your devices for the next three years for just $183 plus three months for free. Atlas VPN gives you the ability to change your location and access restricted content, which is important for me because there is so much content that is blocked in the US, so placing myself in another country opens so many doors. For example, you can change your location while using a streaming service like Netflix and access a brand new library of TV. TV shows and movies you've never seen before. So we can go and place ourselves in the UK or Hong Kong and see what they're watching over there. Right now, Atlas VPN is running a huge discount, which means you can be protected for the next three years for just $183 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Plus, they'll give you three months for free. Time is running out, so get your deal by clicking the link in the description below and sign up for Atlas VPN. Thank you, Atlas VPN, for sponsoring this video, and enjoy. Naomi Campbell is notoriously one of the meanest people in fashion, and she has that reputation for good reason. Are you just a petulant diva who wants things her own way, and if you don't get things your own way, you feel you have the right to throw things. So let's start there, because Naomi Campbell was taken to court because she threw a phone at one of her employees. Naomi pleaded guilty to reckless assault, which sentenced her to five days of community service and an anger management class, which it seems like she might need a few of those. To the housekeeper who you allegedly threw a phone at. I never had a jewel encrusted blackberry in my life, by the way. Okay. But did you throw something at her? Yeah, I threw the phone. You threw the phone? Yeah. Okay. Tell me what it is in you that thinks you can throw a phone at someone. It's like basically I would see red after asking for so many times and I just feel... Asking for what? Asking for whatever it is I was asking for. A pair of jeans, we hear. Actually, it wasn't jeans. Okay. Hearing Naomi describe seeing red reminds me of hearing about other cases of people who have issues with anger and coping with anger and they just really rage out. Naomi had another situation where she raged on a plane and she assaulted two police officers, which got her in some pretty big trouble. Prosecutors claim that Naomi used foul language. She kicked and spat at police, accused airline personnel of racism, and threatened to sue them because one of her bags did not make it onto the flight to LA. She became abusive to the captain, which ultimately got the police involved. It actually turns out that Naomi was upset because in this bag, there was an outfit that she was contractually obligated to wear at an event in Los Angeles. So she was freaking out that she did not have this outfit and she took it out on everyone around her. Yeah, but sometimes it's strangers. What from other things we've heard, there've been strangers. Like when you were on the airline and then yeah. had to serve 200 hours of uh, community service. Yeah. Yeah. Those weren't... No, I didn't know them. You didn't know those. Those no. were strangers. Absolutely. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So do you think you have like an anger like management Like I issue? must do. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I think it's also a fear issue because anger comes from fear. So Naomi pled guilty to assaulting a police officer and she got 200 hours of community service. But what makes me feel that Naomi did not learn from this was that when she had this community service, she dressed up like a model. She wore like couture outfits and dressed just very high class for going to serve community service, which seems like she's just like you know, poking fun at the consequences, at the punishment, acting like it's not a big deal and she hasn't learned anything. So when you did the, the hours of community service uh -huh. and you came in dressed like, uh, that was intentional, right? It was intentional because basically, yeah, it yeah. wasn't. Exploiting, not just exploiting, but turning your nose up at the whole idea of community service. I mean, I basically, did not go with the first day of, I'm gonna turn this into a fashion show. That was not my intention. So clearly you do not want to upset Naomi Campbell because she's going to go after you. Naomi has been accused of being difficult to deal with. She has had plenty of feuds with a lot of different models because she ends up butting heads with them. One of Naomi's biggest feuds is with Tyra Banks, which you guys know Tyra Banks is a problematic person herself, but it seems like Naomi really does doesn't like Tyra and that's because Naomi was on the scene before Tyra was and you know Tyra just showed up and I think Naomi felt threatened by her but Tyra actually had Naomi on her show and it was really uncomfortable to watch because Tyra kind of like brought Naomi there to confront her about everything and the way they edited the show just really pit them against each other. Here's in the making supermodel Tyra Banks, supermodel Naomi Campbell, now on Tyra. It has to be just me and Naomi alone. The backstabbing, the name calling, the cat fight on the catwalk. You called me the B word. You said you'll never be me. Years of runway rivalry. I felt like you were terrorizing me. Explode in a dramatic confrontation. Why, Naomi? An all new Tyra starts now. So let's talk about a few moments from this interview that stick out to me. In one photo shoot from the past, Naomi and Tyra were hired to be on this yacht. And I guess at one point Tyra felt really seasick, which I get really seasick too, so I totally understand. And Naomi came to her to comfort her, but really just came over to ask her if like her management tried to make Tyra look like Naomi. It's a bizarre question to ask. And as soon as Naomi got her answer, she switched up on Tyra. And I get seasick. I was very seasick on you this boat. You were seasick on that boat? Oh, I was, I yeah. I, I, I don't tell people, like, I didn't, uh. especially in the beginning of my career. I just say, I'm just taking a nap. Really, I wanted to throw up. Okay. Yeah. So I was laying down on this uh, little plank thing. Uh, yeah, well, that boat shot there. I was laying down on a plank. I mean, laying down on a pillow. Yeah. And you came and you sat down next to me. And you, you, I think you let me put my head in your lap or you, or you put my, my feet on your lap. Right. And you're like, sweetie, are you okay? Are you okay? And I said, actually, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. And then you said, I have to ask you something. Right. See, I remember this because I was so new and young. You said, I have to ask you something. Do they try to make you look like me? Right. And I said, um, I don't know about so much now, but in LA, yeah, they really did with the little short black whips. You stuff. told me that, yeah, yes. I remember. And Naomi, you got up, pushed me away, and said, yeah, I thought so. And you turned. I did. You went from the sweetest woman that was giving me vitamins to someone that terrified me on that trip. Oh, my God. And Understandable. I, I can understand. I was told on that trip that I was sent home because you don't want me there anymore. So no, I didn't that's finish not that trip. true. That's what I was told. I don't have the power then a winter. So Naomi actually got Tyra fired from that trip and she was sent home, which seems to be a theme. I think this really affected Tyra. She opened up to the Wall Street Journal back in 2019 and she was quoted saying, people didn't know I was going home and crying my eyes out because a woman, Naomi, that I was looking up to seemed like she just didn't want me to be there and was doing everything in her power to make me go away. We were doing that fashion show backstage and you came up to me right when I was about to walk out and you said something and it's so funny because it was so surreal at the time when you said it I didn't think that you could actually say something like that what did I say you said uh, something like you'll never be me don't ever think that you'll be me and something I like said that. that yes I can't think that's something I'm not that I'm very Specific. much in the yeah I'm very much I know the person that I am, mm -hmm. and I'm not someone to go and give myself away and say that to anybody. I've never said that in my life. So, but if that's what you remember, yeah. I accept that, but it's not, it doesn't sound like me to people that would know me. 
But in 2016, Naomi did address the feud, and she told Andy Cohen that, quote, it does irk me that two women of color have to be pitted against each other. And maybe that's how she felt in 2016, but in 2020, she started to call out Tyra again, and she shared an article on her Instagram story. Here's the article that Naomi shared, and the headline reads, Here's why fans are starting to think Tyra Banks is the real mean girl, not Naomi Campbell. The article makes certain points, including past incidents involving Tyra's show. You guys may remember on her show, America's Next Top Model, she had the models do blackface for a photo shoot. And when Tyra was getting called out for this, Naomi jumped on the bandwagon and called her out as well. So if Naomi really was bothered by them being pitted against each other, then why is she sharing articles that clearly pit them against each other? And it was in 2020. So again, this is like a decades long feud. But now we need to shift gears and talk a little bit about the blood diamond situation because Naomi found herself in some legal trouble because she was getting wrapped up in this political issue in another country. Uh, are you a bit nervous? No, well, I didn't really want to be here, so I was made to be here. So obviously I'm just like wanting to get this over with and get on with my life. For prosecutors, Campbell's so testimony is seen as process. crucial in a case that goes back over a decade <laughs> involving hundreds of thousands of people killed or maimed in a bloody civil war that Taylor is accused of fueling with what came to be called blood diamonds. As first reported by ABC News, witnesses said Campbell, on a trip to South Africa to the home of Nelson Mandela, had boasted of receiving a packet of diamonds from Taylor's representatives. But Campbell denied the allegations to ABC News earlier this year, before storming out of the interview. You received a diamond from Charles... I didn't receive a diamond, and I'm not going to speak about that, thank you very much. And I'm not here for that. Well, we've been told that you didn't help the prosecution sort of in this very important case. Sorry. Thank you so much. Sorry. Goodbye. So Naomi went over to this country as a guest and she hung out with some very powerful people. At some point, this like political man gave her a blood diamond, a really big blood diamond, which was a diamond, I guess, like recovered from this civil war, which is like a a human's rights violation. Like this civil war was being egged on by government officials and they were trying to get diamonds out of people and just killing their own citizens. So Naomi was gifted one of these diamonds and she claims that she wasn't, but there are contradicting stories. Describing a bizarre middle of the night scene outside her bedroom. Yeah. When I was sleeping, I had a knock at my door and I opened my door and two men uh, were there and gave me a pouch and said a gift for you. Did you ask them who they were? No, I really, I was extremely tired. When they gave me the pouch, I just put it next to my bed and went back to bed. What did you think the stones were? They were kind of dirty looking pebbles. They were not, they were dirty, I don't know. I find when I'm used to seeing diamonds, I'm used to seeing diamonds shiny and in a box, you know. So Naomi claims at the time she had no idea what these rocks were. They were pebbles and she really didn't care for them. But there was another actress, Mia Farrow, who was on this trip. And at some point she was hanging out with Naomi. And she claims that Naomi knew exactly what they were and she was bragging all about it. But witnesses, including actress and activist Mia Farrow, have given much different testimony. Farrow was there the next morning and says Campbell knew exactly what she had. She said... Uh... Uh, during the night, some men had knocked at her door, and it was uh, representatives of President Charles Taylor, and that they had given her a huge diamond. And we're like, oh my gosh. So according to Mia Farrow, it sounds like Naomi was gifted these by this, like, I don't want to say dictator because he wasn't a dictator, but that's the energy he's giving me. She was gifted these diamonds and she was bragging about them and she knew exactly where they came from. But this is what Naomi claims in court. And at breakfast, you were told that probably they were diamonds and probably they came from Charles Taylor. Uh, did you consider thanking him for the gift to you of these diamonds? I didn't thank him. I just looked for my friend Jeremy Ratcliffe and gave them to him. It's not abnormal for me to get gifts. I get gifts given to me all the time at any hour of the night. The man she says she gave the diamonds to, Jeremy Ratcliffe, was the director of the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund. 
my intention at that moment and at that time was to give them, find Jeremy and give them to him. I don't recall his reaction. Um, I just said, take them, do something with them and um, make sure children benefit from them. I didn't want to keep them. So Naomi claims that she looked for her friend, Jeremy, and she gave the, the diamonds to him. And he used the one that had them last. And she has no idea what happened to them. She just wanted them to go to a good cause, which sounds really nice and convenient if that was the truth, because there's no record of where these diamonds went. And in my personal opinion, I believe she's still holding on to them. Current officials at the Children's Fund tell ABC News there is no record of any diamonds received from Naomi Campbell at the time or since. Talking about this blood diamond situation makes me think about other relationships that Naomi has because she's like, you know, a big time model. We all know this, but it's interesting to see who she's connected to in the industry, kind of like Jeffrey Epstein. When Jeffrey Epstein got in trouble for his crimes, Naomi Campbell opened up about their relationship because people had questions. I know there are a lot of flight logs out there and some are legit, some are not, but we know for sure that Naomi was hanging out with this man. When everyone started talking about Jeffrey Epstein, Naomi decided to defend herself in her own YouTube video. She sat down with one of her colleagues and answered questions about their relationship. And she's claiming that she's not a saint, but she had no idea this was ever going on. Paper does manage to make it clear that you are not aware of Epstein activities. Did you know who he was? Yes, I knew him. I was introduced to him on my 31st birthday by my ex-boyfriend, Flavio. He was always front and center at Victoria's Secret shows. Did you suspect what he was doing? No. And what he's done is indefensible. And when I heard of what he'd done, it sickened me to my stomach just like everybody else. She didn't make this video because she wanted to clear her name of like, Jeffrey Epstein. The reason why she made this was because she was being dragged down with him and she wanted to try to protect her own reputation. Take a look at this photo of Naomi hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein and this little girl, Virginia, who's one of Jeffrey Epstein's victims. So, I mean, Naomi was around these little girls. Did she ever stop and ask why they were all hanging out? I don't think she stopped and asked because she's part of this entire situation and the problem within the fashion industry. There's this model named Karen Mudler who used to work closely with Naomi Campbell and she exposed the fashion industry sharing that these elite models are just like being human trafficked to even more powerful men and that they are disposable. And it seems like Naomi is part of this situation or this ring and that like maybe she was, you know, sent off to go and hang out with Jeffrey Epstein and that's how they became very close. But it sounds like Karen got herself out of that and tried to expose it. Over the years, this model rose up to the top. She shared the runway with other well-known models like Naomi Campbell and Cindy Crawford. She was so successful that she was making up to $10,000 a day. 2001, Karen Mulder was being interviewed on the France to show Everyone is Talking About It. In front of a live studio audience, Mulder went public with our allegations and accused top executives from the modeling agency that she was in, Elite Model Management, she was in a disturbed psychological state. She said, quote, They wanted to make a prostitute out of me. I was pumped with drugs, I was subjected to hypnosis, and you can't even imagine how simple it is and how terrible it is. The model industry is a conveyor of girls for wealthy men, and it will not work to bring the organizers to clean the water. They have connections everywhere. Clearly, there's something very evil going on here. And Naomi Campbell is an enabler. She's friends with these people. She's covering up for them. And she has some scandals of her own. There's actually much more out there. So if you guys want me to do a deeper dive into anything, here's my email. If you have any other video ideas for me, email me. But thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in a new one soon. Bye, guys.